welcome to the channel, PJ Ground Pounder. Hey, today we'll be going over our oil change. Uh, again, these are things that I just want to make people aware of and things that you should probably do uh, before you take off in any adventure or uh, cross country trip or just riding your bike in general. Uh, there's nothing I'm sharing on this channel to where I'm telling you, hey, use this amount of torque on this boat, use this amount of oil, use these type of brakes, uh, put this type of tensioning on your belt. Uh, consult your owner's manual or your dealership and make sure what you're doing to your bike in these areas is specific for your bike. This channel here is just to awaken you on what should be done to your bike before you take a trip. So that's the way that I'm sharing content, uh, just to wake you up a little bit and say, hey, I need to check my oil. Hey, I should check my shocks. Hey, I should check my tires. Uh, so anyway, we'll get right with it today. And uh, soon, uh, not far from now, we'll be taking a long trip. And that's when the video and the content will get a little funner because you'll be able to see what I do on the highway and how I do it. Uh, you'll get to enjoy sites and monuments and things of that nature as I'm on my trip. So stay tuned for that also. But, you know, before that, we have to get prepared. We have to prepare ourselves. We have to prepare our bike. And we have to have the right equipment uh, to go through the different elements. So stay tuned for that. But today, what we're going to be concentrating on is our oil change. Let's get at it. Okay, what we have here is our oil for the uh, engine and the transmission. I use the same oil in all three um, compartments, uh, 20W50. I'm not saying that's specific to your bike, but that's just what I run. I have my oil pan here, and then we'll go underneath here, and uh, we'll look at the bolts that we'll need to change, I mean to uh, loosen up so that we can drain the oil. Uh, if you can see under here, uh, where's my finger here? There's a bolt here, okay, for the oil. There's a bolt here. Um, I know it's kind of hard to see there, the lighting's bad. But we have two bolts under here, and then we'll loosen those up and get that oil drained. Uh, once I loosen them up, uh, so that the oil just doesn't run out right away. Uh, after I loosen them up and remove the bolt, I'll go ahead and take off my uh, tranny uh, dipstick here. And I'll take out my oil dipstick here, uh, which will allow it to flow more freely. Okay, now I come around to the left side of my bike where I have my uh, primary. I have a quarter oil for that. And then I have my oil filter over there. By the way, to remove those plugs, let me get the size for you here. I got a 5 8 and that's how I remove my drain plugs. And then I have my T27 to remove my derby cover. Okay, so the two previous screws that I showed you earlier, which is here and here, uh, we'll be uh, removing those so that we can drain the oil. Uh, my bike's kind of low, so I always have a problem with uh, the space. Uh, so we'll get on in here and get these screws out. Okay. Alrighty. I'll to get some leverage on that thing there so we'll get that out or it's, I can screw it out with my hand I'll screw this one here I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit normally I'll put on my mechanic gloves but I'm righty I'm gonna get a little dirty today let that uh and soap and water can't take care of them. All right, now that I've got them loosened up, I'll go ahead.
Okay, now that we have the tranny and the oil drain, uh, we'll move around. On the primary side, taking care of the primary fluid as those two are just dripping out, finishing up over there. So I come over to this side. I've already got it started. And again, like I tell you, what I do is I loosen it up until I'm finger tight. And then I'll start uh, removing the uh, bolt. And as it gets loose, I'll slide my pan over. And again, it's going to drain slow until I remove the uh, derby cover. So I'm not worrying about it just pouring out on me all of a sudden. Okay, that fluid is nice and clean. Okay, as I was sharing earlier, uh, I have to uh, move my passenger peg up in order to get to my derby cover. I've already kind of loosened that up. Uh, so what I do is just loosen it up, turn it back. Kind of put a little bit on it just so it don't flop around. And then I go over to my derby cover. One, two, three, four, five. And I take that apart. Okay, after changing my ring here and cleaning my cover out, my derby cover, and um, set that aside there. Now I'll go ahead and uh, remove my oil filter. Uh, put a new filter on and then we'll can start filling I'll put the plugs back in of course and then we'll start uh, refilling the, uh, the reservoirs now I'm going to take off and change my oil filter one thing I do man if somebody knows uh, what the funnel is or what the drip pan is for catching the oil that comes out of the filter when you uh, take it off Please let me know somehow, some way. Call me something. Uh, leave an email, anything. Uh, but what I always do is take an old rag, take a handy dandy screwdriver, and as you can see, I stuffed the rag all the way in there. And remove my filter. Okay. And uh, when filling your uh, oil reservoir here, uh, you're going to check your dipstick and it's going to say full whenever you get to that point. After that, secure the cap, start your motor up, make sure you have oils in all your reservoirs, start your motor up and let it run for a short amount of time so that oil can circulate through your filter. And then turn the motor off, go back and check your oil again. You should almost be about a half quart low at that point go ahead and bring it up to full where it's supposed to be. Uh, just don't fill this up the first time. Put the top on it, fire your bike up, and go riding. Because if that filter is empty, uh, it's going to take a half a quart, so you're going to be low. Uh, so make sure you do that. Uh, take care of that offset right there. All right. Thank you for watching, and have a great day. For tips motivation or just inspiration subscribe to my channel pj ground pounders let's get prepared and ride